hello guys so welcome to cloud learning channel today we are going to learn about another interesting service of aws which is called trusted advisor so what is trusted advisor and why it is used so let me give some small intro about this this service is basically used for your complete global account it is something like which gives you some advice that how you should or how you can do the optimization for your costing how can you improve your performance uh, that means how you can use AWS in a better way so this is uh, you can enable it for complete account and we will see how we can do this so major advantage of this like you can go for cost optimization performance improvement security issues if there is any security issue that should be taken care it will advise you fault tolerance and service limits so it will also show you like if you are approaching to the service limits or limits of the services which can be come so like for every account there is a service limit like you can whatever depend upon your account type you have been provided some limit like you can launch so many ec2 instances of this type so you can check what are the service limits so to do this it is uh, quite easy it is easy to implement and let's see how it works very useful service for that you need to log in into this cloud aws console and here you have to search trusted advisor On this there is a prerequisite of this to enable it you need a like if you go to dashboard uh, it need a particular role access for your account so once you enable it it will ask you that if you want it will provide you the by default role so that you can create or you can enable the trusted advisor service so if you see i am logged in into my trusted advisor dashboard and now what i am getting now it is refreshing my dashboard and here i can see that what are the issues in my account so like if you see i have created instances with all ports open which is not a good practice so here we aws is suggesting that something here you created the security gurus which are not as per the best practice and you need to correct it if you do it is a suggestion it is not necessary that you do the changes but it is a suggestion for you that you can perform these changes then s3 bucket permissions so if you see it has open access permissions that means anybody can allow or anybody can access my s3 bucket content which is not again as a good practice so it is suggesting mfa is not enabled for root account so again it is suggesting me that i should enable mfa so these are the best practices suggested by trusted advisor service of aws similarly the other things which are okay it will show you like how it is set up and the green marked are okay this is something about uh, here you see it was about security so here and one more thing like uh, trusted advisor all services are not free so you can start with the free trial services but here you see that only such options and security are available and trusted advisor is suggesting this but if you want more advice such kind of things uh, you have to upgrade your support plan so according to the support plan you will get the better advices so in free trial there are very less options or services less feedback is there by trusted advisor but if you unlock your support or if you upgrade your support so you will get more and more option for your account improvement so similarly if you go to cost optimization here you can check like you will get reports if you on upgraded plan like what are your low utilized ec2 instances what are your idle load balancer 
uh, what are your unassisted elastic IP addresses all such information is provided so that your cost get reduced similarly there are performance parameters that what are your high utilization of major EC2 instances what are your large number of rules in EC2 security group which is not suggested such as cost optimization performance security fault tolerance and service limit options are there another interesting thing what you can do if you go to preferences you can disable trusted advisor if you want and you can enable it easily right if i have to enable i have to give one role access and that's it what the role access is required this one so if you want to disable it disable trusted advisor and delete this role also now what you can also do uh, that you can set up your weekly email notifications so here you can set your billing details operation contact and security contacts dl and here you can set up their email address so that all the billing details will be provided there operational details to the operation team and security contacts also can get the mails with the appropriate suggestions so i hope you found this video useful if you like this video please hit a like button and share this video with your friends thank you